host, Miss Stacy, here for another edition of Storytime. Today we are going to read Pete the Kitty and the Groovy Playdate. And this is by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Kitty jumps out of bed. I cannot wait. Today Grumpy Toad and I have a groovy playdate. Hey, Grumpy Toad, I'm ready to play. It's going to be an awesome day. Let's go, let's go to Grumpy Toad's house. Pete saw find some blocks. Let's build a city, says Pete the Kitty. But Grumpy Toad starts to whine. Those blocks are mine, mine, mine. Pete the Kitty says, no worries. That's okay, I'll find something else to play. Pete sees a superhero cape. Far out! Have no fear, Super Kitty is here! But Grumpy Toad starts to whine. That cape is mine, mine, mine! Grumpy Toad has all the toys and Pete has none. This play date is just no fun. Not very nice of Grumpy Toad, is it? Pete is sad. Pete is blue. He thinks about what to do. Grumpy Toad, wouldn't it be better if we were playing together? Grumpy Toad says, my pile of to toys has grown, but it's no fun playing alone. Grumpy Toad thinks of all the fun he and Pete have together. If they are flying kites and in the treehouse and kicking the soccer ball. Yes, Sherry would make this play date so much better. Grumpy Toad shares his truck with Pete. All right, they are driving around. You push me and I'll push you. Zoom, zoom, boom, round the room. Grumpy Toad shares his blocks. Here are the blocks, Pete the Kitty, for you and me to build a city. I built a big old city. Grumpy Toad shares his cape. Oh, they've got two of them. Okay, time for superheroes to save the city. There they are, got the trucks, and jumping over the building. Have no fear, Wonder Toad and Super Kitty are here. And it says, our toys on its play box. Isn't that nice? Grumpy Toad shares all his toys with Pete. They play and play and play. They're at the beach and playing guitars. What a groovy, awesome day. Thank you, Grumpy Toad, for sharing your cape, your truck, and your blocks. Wow, sharing rocks. They had a good play today. Let's see what the last there they are. And they're both back home in their bed. They had a good day, didn't they? That's a good story. Today we have a flannel board with five little apples. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five little apples in the bowl. One fell out and started a roll. It bumped the table and hit my feet. How many apples left to eat? One, two, three, four. Four little apples in the bowl. One fell out and started a roll. It bumped the table and hit my feet. How many tables left to eat? There goes the one. One, two, three. Three little apples in the bowl, one fell out and started to roll. It bumped the table and hit my feet. How many apples left to eat? One, two, just two. Two little apples in the bowl, one fell out and started to roll. It bumped the table and hit my feet. How many apples left to eat? Just one. One little apple in the bowl, it fell out and started to roll. It bumped the table and hit my feet. And no more apples left to eat. Today we have a poem about Mary. Mary had a little lamb, a little lamb, a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. He followed her to school one day, which was against the rule. It made the children laugh and play, laugh and play, and laugh and play. It made the children laugh and play to see the lamb at school. All right, our next story for today is called Plant a Kiss by Amy Krauss Rosenthal. It goes like this. Here's a little girl, little, little miss, planted a kiss. She dug into the ground and kissed it. Planted a kiss. Yes, she planted a kiss. Sunshine, water, greet. She's saying hello to it. Repeat. Sunshine, water, greet. Wait and wait. It's getting late. Doubt and a pout. 
doesn't think her kiss is going to grow until she sprout. Shout, shout, shout. Something came up. Gather about. Here comes all of her friends to see what happened. Wow. How? What now? Stare and stare. And they're all staring at her kiss coming out of the ground. I'll share, she declared. Here she's going to share. And someone says, don't you dare. It's far too rare. It'll go bare. She didn't care. She's, she's gathering up her kisses. From there, everywhere, taking them away. To and fro, giving them their kisses. High and low, she's sharing everywhere. Rain or snow, with a bow. Alas, time to go, all out of kisses. So she returned, there she learned, from one little kiss. Endless bliss, look at that. Tons and tons of kisses coming up. And there she is, passing them all out again. That's a neat story about how to share your love. And thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Hi everyone, welcome to Craft Time. We're going to make a Mother's Day craft today. So what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock, um, some strips of green for your stems, and I picked pink for my hand. Uh, you will put whatever color. Uh, you'll see what it's going to look like with the hand. And then you have different multicolors of tissue paper. And then I need a pencil, scissors, a marker to write Happy Mother's Day, and some glue. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take our stems. And I'm, I got them a little long, so I'm going to trim them down a little bit. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to glue them into what it looks like a, a bouquet. Okay, I might need to go a little bit shorter. Okay, let me get done. Okay. And so each one, put some glue on it. Okay, so here we have our little start of our bouquet. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and tear little pieces of tissue paper of different colors and we'll do that for a little while. And once you have little torn pieces, then we'll start gluing them on. Okay, so now we've got all our tissue paper ready. So what you're going to do is you're going to take them, kind of squish them up in a little, not like a ball, but kind of close to it. And then you're just going to put some glue on and stick it to the paper. And you're going to do it with different colors all over because this is going to be a nice bouquet for your mom or grandma or aunt or stepmom. Molly, you want to help put some on? Yeah. Grab a glue back there. This is going to be a time-consuming one, but uh, it'll be pretty once it's done. Now we've got our bouquet. You can make it more bushier if you want. Um, it's up to you. So now we're going to draw our hand, which my hand is a lot bigger than your guys's will be. So I'm kind of just going to draw a hand uh, that way it fits on the thing. I had to count them fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, <laughs> make sure. 
So then you're going to cut your hand out. And what it's going to look like, it's going to look like it's holding the flower, the bouquet for mom. Okay, so we have our hand. And so what we're going to do is we're going to glue our hand to where it looks like it's holding the bouquet. Of course, my glue gets clogged up in there. Okay, so looks like we're holding the bouquet too. I'm gonna trim this up right here where it's hanging off the side. And then you're gonna write Happy Mother's Day. And then you put from you. And there's your craft. If you have any questions or would like to take a make to take home with you, um, come pick it up at the children's library. Have a good day.